Hi guys, I just wanted to share with you today two batches of soap that I did yesterday. Um, I think we're in August now. Today's August the 5th. And I um, most likely won't upload this video until it's close to time to put it in the shop. This is part of uh, my fall lineup. I think I have like eight soaps planned to um, put out this fall. So um, this one here is Hatter. And it's one that I've done for the last, I think, two years? Can't remember, but I definitely did it last year. And it's a really yummy banana type scent. Um, I'll put a fragrance description below, but it has a lot of yummy stuff down in there. And this base should actually discolor to a really dark chocolate brown. I did a white and a yellow portion. So I'll cut in this in a minute and see how it turned out. And then I also did another batch of Honey Bee Harvest. Not much to show here. It's pretty basic, base, um, pretty straightforward. The uh, cream colored bottom with the like honeycomb brown top. And both of these soaps are coconut milk soaps. Um, normally, I like to do this one with goat's milk, but I didn't have any on hand. All I had was the coconut milk. And um, you know, it's getting down to the wire now, preparing for fall. I want to have these soaps cured um, in time to go into the shop. So that's there. Coconut milk um, really creates a really nice creamy lather. So. Um, it's a good alternative and it still has other yummy stuff in it like the avocado oil and the shea butter. Lots of shea butter, avocado oil and um, yeah. So it's still going to be really moisturizing. I formulated it um, to have um, lots of moisture but also to have some nice fluffy bubbles in it. So that'll be good. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my cutter and the camera and I'll be right back. Oh, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, the last video I think I posted, or I'm, I haven't posted it yet, but I will be posting it, was for uh, Black Pearl. And I told you my camera had broken, and that I would show you what I've been doing everything on. I got it about eight years ago. This part is broken. It doesn't stay closed, so I've always had to use tape to close it. But this is the camera that I use, I've been using to take all of my product photos, to record everything. It's a sad little thing, but... It got the job done, but the bottom part where it attaches to the um, tripod broke and no longer attaches, so I had to get a new one. So I'm really happy with my new one. Go ahead and set it up and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Let's see if I can get this in. It's been more than 24 hours since I made these, but it's still a little bit sticky. I don't discount. I don't think I discounted the water on these at all. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer. So I did a yellow and a white swirl in here. Of course, you can't really see the contrast now because this still has to darken to brown. So what I'll do is take some pictures of these um, and post them at the end of the video so that you can see how it turned out. The yellow, I'm sure, is going to fade a bit. I still haven't found a yellow that I'm really happy with. I think I'm going to have to just switch back to using um, yellow oxide, which is what I used to use, but I wanted something brighter, but it's, it's the, the brighter colors don't really seem to want to stick. I don't know if I'm not using enough or what, but I'll switch back to the oxide after this. Maybe do a blend of the oxide with the pigments, the cosmetic pigments. But I'm really curious to see um, how that contrast is going to look in the brown soap. I think it'll be nice. It smells so, 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 so good. 
Really nice fall scent. I get 17 bars out of each batch that I do. So what I do now is take that 17th bar, it's like the odd bar, and cut it into uh, quarters. And these become the samples that I sell in, um, in the shop. And I've switched mostly over to Big Cartel now. I don't know if many of you have been over to visit, but that's where I'm primarily at now. I do keep um, some items still on Etsy, but the majority of what I have is on uh, Big Cartel. That's where you're going to find the most selection. That's where you're going to find all the bubble bath bars and bath bombs and stuff like that. I do still have them all, but they're just on Big Cartel. Because that is my preferred venue. So that's where everything for the most part will be. So if you're ever on Etsy and it seems a little low, just hop over to Big Cartel. That's where you'll pretty much find everything. And I guess I'll go ahead and um, cut the honeybee harvest. It's still a little sticky. I think the last time I made this I had tried to do the yellow and black kind of like a bumblebee type colors but it didn't stay vibrant so I just went back to the way I've always done it. Nothing super special, but it smells super good. This was a scent that the first time I smelled it, I really didn't get what the big hype about it was. I think when I made it that time, I had made it as a goat's milk soap. So anyone that makes goat's milk, you know, like that first, when you first cut it, like it has that sort of milky smell to it and then as it cures, maybe within a couple of hours, that fades off. But um, yeah, the longer this one cured, the more the scent really popped. I was like, wow, I do like it. I can see what the hype is. So I always try to carry this, keep it in the shop for the most part. Alright, so you're basically seeing what that looks like. I'm not going to bore you with any more. Um, I still have several more to do. I'm trying to think. Bitten to do. It's a really nice cherry scent. I have a new design for that one. I've been waiting since last Halloween to do this design. So I can't wait to do that one. And I'm trying to think. A few more. Cider barrel. I need to do a new batch of cider barrel for the fall, of course. So I'll be back with more, I'm waiting for some fragrance oils to come in, and I'll hit you guys back with some more stuff. So thanks so much for watching, and catch you later. Bye-bye.